again making I believe it's the fifth video of today. As stated in the last video, this is what happens when you just can't sleep. As some of you know I'm an insomniac. I'm an insomniac currently not working. <laughs> that doesn't make for some very sleep restful days. And I got a lot of time on my hand. And, hmm, just a minute. First, the housekeeping, <laughs> as uh, Jay would say. Uh, I'm starting to borrow phrases from everywhere on YouTube, so I hope nobody gets offended if I borrow something from you. Smoking my Dunhill Cuddy HTC. And uh, I am smoking. Um, Larry's Blend. Larry's Blend from uh, Pipes and Cigars. It's a, it's a really nice uh, English uh, made actually without burley. It's an English with no burley. If any of you have ever had Boswell's Northwoods, it's uh, very reminiscent of that. Uh, Somewhat similar to 965, but not as heavy on a lot of Kia. Like my tamper? <laughs> I should have let it dry a little bit. It's a, it's a little, it's, it's moist. I didn't let it dry properly before uh, filling my bowl, but. It's a, it's a good blend. Now, this is actually a video response to 41 degrees south on YouTube. Um, I apologize. I do not know your first name. I've looked at uh, your profile. I've looked at the uh, variety of comments made by you. I don't see a signature for your first name, so I don't know it. I'm sorry. But 41 degrees south. He's from New Zealand. He's from New Zealand, and I like his videos. Uh, give him a look. I, I think you'll like him. Now, he posed a question, um, who was the first pipe presenter you ever saw and did you ever thank them? Uh, well, the first uh, pipe presenter I ever saw, uh, I stumbled across, uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, stiff neck. I stumbled across um, uh, Aristocob uh, on YouTube, and he was the first person I ever saw, and uh, uh, I wasn't, uh, I didn't buy any, I hadn't had any pipes at this point, and uh, uh, I was just sort of looking around at, at, at videos to see what I was going to, you know, get an idea of uh, what kind of pipe or tobacco I wanted to buy for the first time. And uh, stumbled across him and uh, I liked, uh, you know, he was talking about cobs and uh, so I went down to my local brick and mortar and hey, uh, the lady there had uh, a display with uh, some uh, Missouri Meerschaum corncob pipes. Uh, uh, she had diplomats and legends. And uh, I didn't particularly like the way the legends looked, and they were a little bit on the small side for me, so I picked up uh, a couple of diplomats. And uh, talk 
too much, not enough puffing. <laughs> Definitely should have dried it out some. But, um, uh, like I said, Ristikov was the first one I've ever, I ever looked at. And he's got a bunch of uh, how-to or instructional videos, how to get the most out of your corncob pipe. Runs a, runs a uh, internet site called Aristocob where he sells uh, corncob pipes. And uh, he does a good job. And uh, uh, so he was the first one to uh, ever get me started uh, on uh, purchasing cobs, and uh, to this day, I, I like, I really love my cobs. Um, so, uh, uh, Scott, thank you. <laughs> if you happen to be watching this video, uh, so till next time, may all your roads be smooth, the chicken house is closed, may your pipe never run empty. God bless.